friends today we will discuss the centrifugal compressor surge concepts this is a picture depicting the surge or backflow in a compressor centrifugal compressor so why the surge happen actually surge problem occurs in the centrifugal and turbo compressor only when compressor flow is reduced by throttling suction inlet valve during surge backflow at the compressor happens and can cause several damage to compressor shaft and impeller blades therefore it is necessary for a mechanical and process design engineer to understand the surge phenomena and its remedy and cause of surge in this video i will explain you all the fundamental for surge in compressor so this is about me i am a presenter lokesh kumar singh cumd of petro horizon oil and gas engineering this is about my education qualification and experience so this is centrifugal surge compressor concept so in the centrifugal compressor surge problem arise due to suction flow reduction so normally whenever we talk about the centrifugal compressor so this we define the suction condition of a centrifugal compressor in data sheet also uh, the vendor define the uh, suction conditions at normal temperature and pressure so if the suction press, uh, suction flow is reduced so it can cause the surge problem in centrifugal or turbo compressor so surge problem in compressor cause following problems first is the backflow on the impeller and second is eddies formation on the passage between impeller blade and create low pressure region there so that's cause the backflow third is reduced gas flow in passage between the impeller blades and fourth is the torsion in the compressor shaft and can uh, can cause to break the shaft because the back flow will try to rotate uh, compressor uh, impeller in a different direction as compared to the uh, compressor uh, prime mover or rotator like a uh, motor electric motor which try to rotate compressor in different direction so it may cause the torsion and the soft shaft may break so this is the compre uh, compressor impeller description because first of all you should know the terminology which i will use that what is it so this you can see this is a centrifugal compressor impeller and on this impeller these are the blades of impeller this red color is a blades on impellers and this is the suction eye of a impeller and the gas this shows the gas flow from suction suction to discharge from the impeller this is the, this is the normal gas flow path and this the uh, space between these two uh, impeller blades we call it the passage for gas flow and this is low pressure region here at suction i which uh, used for uh, sucking uh, sucking the suction uh, gas and then here it is outer portion which is normally at higher pressure as compared to uh, this portion so this is centrifugal impeller velocity diagram so here if you see in this this is a centrifugal uh, compressor impeller as i uh, describe you in this previous slide and this is the suction points so here normally this is the radius of uh, impeller i and this is the radius of impeller so let's say this is our point uh, we consider that the red line is showing the uh, gas movement so gas will go from here to here when the uh, impeller rotates so this is the normal path of a gas flow so what we will do now we will draw, draw a tangent on this line which shows the gas uh, gas velocity and w1 and then we will draw a tangent at this point which shows the impeller velocity lo impeller local local velocity and then uh, this become the this is a vector quantity and uh, and magnitude and this is also a vector quantity and magnitude so we will draw a par uh, um, parallelogram to find the resultant of this parallelogram so this is the resultant 
this is the resultant gas velocity c1 and this one if we draw this perpendicular from uh, on this tangent line so this shows the radial velocity of gas similarly when the gas moves from here to the outer because this is the delivery point and this is the suction point so from suction point to delivery point gas moves here so further we will draw a tangent here and then tangent at this point and then we will draw a parallelograms to complete this vector and then we, we find the resultant so the resultant of these two is this one c2 which is at angle alpha 2 and here this is at angle alpha 1 and this the gas flow path the tangent on gas flow path here at the suction point is at angle beta 1 and here it is at angle beta 2 so here it is uh, at delivery point the resultant is c2 and then this if we draw the perpendicular on this line so this is called the radial component of c2 and this is the gas velocity so i will explain you uh, each and every term so what we are assuming here that vector length means its magnitude and direction shows the magnitude and direction of the different velocity means the length and the direction of these vector is showing the velocity of impeller and velocity of absolute gas at suction point and delivery point so if the length if i represent length bigger so that means the velocity magnitude is bigger and if i represent length smaller so the magnitude of velocity is less so if you can see here uh, at the suction point I have shown this vector is smaller because at suction point the gas velocity or the impeller velocity is lower and here at delivery point as because of the centrifugal action the velocity increase so I have shown these vectors bigger because uh, we are assuming that the vector length means its magnitude and direction shows the magnitude and direction of different velocities so what is u1 here so here you see u1 is a local blade velocity at impeller suction which is this one and this u2 is the local blade velocity at impeller delivery so this is here this is because uh, this velocity is due to the uh, rotation of impeller so this is in the tangent direction and this c1 is the absolute gas flow velocity at impeller suction so this is the resultant of see actually the gas is moving like this but the resultant is like this because uh, due to the movement of uh, imp impeller the rotation of impeller it try to push it this side so this becomes the resultant of absolute gas velocity c1 so c1 is the absolute gas flow velocity at impeller suction and similarly c2 uh, the absolute gas velo flow velocity at the impeller delivery point and C1R is the radial component of absolute gas flow velocity at impeller suction. So this C1R, this C1R is the because it's uh, it's a uh, radial component of absolute gas flow velocity at impeller suction. So this is component of this in radial direction. And then C2R, C2R which is this line, C2R is the radial component of the C2 velocity in a radial direction. So this is centrifugal impeller velocity diagram again. I have shown it in the into the big picture in a zooming uh, way. So you can see here everything is very clear here. This is resultant velocity C1, resultant absolute gas velocity C2. This is a radial component. This is tangential uh, velocity of impeller, and this is tangential velocity of impeller at this uh, suction point this is at delivery point and this w1 and w2 is the direction of actual gas below gas uh, flow because gas is flowing in direction so the actual is w1 w1 is the gas velocity actual gas velocity uh, direction due to the actual uh, condition but the resultant is c2 and c1 here so how such condition arrives when gas flow inlet to the compressor suction is reduced 
then C2 drops. That means this C2 value drops because the suction is dropping. And that because of the suction drop, the amount which flow, the amount of gas which flow between the blades is reduced and due to the centrifugal action, the velocity increases less because the mass of the gas which is going to uh, going between the imp uh, impeller blade pa passes is less so that's why this also reduce as you can see in this figure this is the gas going here so when the search condition uh, is arriving so this gas flow is reducing further reducing and this reduce during the search condition so so c2 drops if the gas flow reduce continuously if we further reduce the gas flow in the suction of compressor then c2 tends to be smaller and become on the same direction of u2 that means if we keep on reducing the gas flow to the suction of uh, uh, impeller or suction of compressor so what happen the magnitude of this C2 vector start reducing, reducing. So let's say initially this length is this much. So now it comes like this and then this and then this. So and then this and at this point it's like this. So at this point if we draw this uh, parallelogram, so this the resultant will come almost uh, parallel to U2. That means the C2 will come parallel to U2. So this is the initiation of uh, search condition. So at this time the operating point is nearly on the surge line. So further decrease in gas flow will cause C2 to be directed inside impeller which means become backward flow and complete surge situation. So in this figure you can see this is the complete surge situation. So after surge point is achieved so this back flow started because here the pressure this is a low pressure section which is empty empty portion of uh, passage between the imperial blade due to the reduced flow so in this uh, portion the eddies formation start and this eddies formation cause uh, pressure to reduce here and this become the low pressure uh, region so because of this low pressure region this adjacent imp uh, impeller uh, adjacent passage fluid or the gas start diverting into it so this uh, u2 become diverting to towards the impeller passes so this become completely back flow here and this cause the complete surge condition so now practical explanation of surge phenomena let's take this example as i shown in the first slide this picture which is depicting like this this is impeller blades and then we have taken this two point A, B, C here on the impeller uh, blades walls. So this shows the condition X, Y, Z. This A, B, C are the flow separation point between gas blades and walls. So initially the gas will be uh, normal condition. This will this will be full of gas as I shown you in this figure. So it will be like this. So gas will be full of this passage between the impeller blade will be full of gas flow. But as the flow uh, we reduce, so what is happening here? The glass, gas flow is reducing, and this portion is become uh, becoming empty. And as we keep on reducing the gas flow, so this portion become larger, bigger and bigger. So that's what happening here. So we consider when the smaller portion uh, is empty, so it's point A, and then further the point B, and then further it's point C. If the empty portion where the gas is not flowing now the gas is flowing only this section when this point c is achieved so this x y z are the arrow to show backflow propagation so that means this x is when the empty space is this much and the here eddy formation is there and the low pressure uh, region is generating here so this x shows the amount of backflow and then at point b where then this portion of eddies formation low pressure generation due to the reduced gas flow become empty and then so here the back flow is represented by y and 
at point C when the bigger portion is empty and the eddies formation is there and there is a reduced pressure section region so this is represented by Z the amount of backflow so during normal operation the passage between the blades of the impeller will be full of gas flow as I shown you here this is full of gas flow but if the flow has decreased the passage will not be full similar to like this so passage will not be full so there will be some empty space which means separation of the gas flow from the blade wall at a point A so that means here the gas is getting separated from this impeller blades at point A here because now the gas is flowing like this and this uh, and this becoming the empty space so this is the diagram uh, which is drawn in coral draw the same diagram this is my hand drawn diagram now we know that at the outer of the impeller is high pressure region so that means uh, if you see here at this portion the, this is the high pressure region and this this is low pressure region this is further low pressure region so compared to the uh, this is a low pressure region so therefore eddies formation take place in the low pressure empty region of the passes so eddies formation is taking place here this is low pressure region as compared to this region but uh, here this is the further low pressure region so this will cause a little backflow x from the adjacent impeller passage to this uh, this region so in this moment the gas tries to fill the this low pressure zone from the adjacent passage between the blade of impeller so if you see here so what is happening here see this adjacent the, uh, this is on this impeller uh, blade passage so this is empty space low pressure region where the eddies formation is happening so this portion this is adjacent uh, impeller blade passes so this gas which is at higher pressure as compared to this uh, this uh, this low pressure region so this will try to fill this region so which uh, uh, which cause the starting of backflow so further more flow reduction will cause LD separation at point B then more empty space is available in the passes between the impeller blades cause more eddies formation and this will cause a more backflow at Y so if you see here this is like a Y portion, y portion. so here as compared to this diagram if you see here the empty space and the eddies formation space is more as compared to this one and then the more flow will you know, from the adjacent impeller blade passage will try to fill this gap and this is called the back flow at y which is represented as y so if the separation point reaches c which is like uh, you can see here uh, if the separation point reaches here at point c in this diagram also you can see here so this the space which is empty and where the eddies formation is happening and the low pressure region is generating is bigger and then the the further the backflow is reduced a lot so at point C the complete backflow is existed and compressor is in complete surge condition so hope you understand what is surge when the complete backflow condition started on the impeller blades uh, so this become complete surge situation due to reduce suction flow to the compressor so this is all about the concept of uh, centrifugal compressor surge so thanks for watching our video this is about petrohydrogen of uh, offering for petroleum and chemical and mechanical engineering student we have two type of courses value added training courses and uh, engineering design skill development training program value added training courses for one month and uh, the six month engineering design and placement assistance training program is 
six month and uh, presently we are uh, opening this course for chemical petroleum and mechanical engineering student we provide free consultation to third year and final year student for selecting the project work in design field also in our company office which is uh, located in prem nagar dehradun we are providing three days demo training awareness classes for to know what exactly is engineering design because most of the people don't know what is a work of engineering design and what is a work of engineer uh, design engineer so presently we are running uh, successfully running two batches one is petroleum batches which, which is for value added training batch and where we are, we are providing the training on foundation course for aspen hiasis and the second batch we are running is mechanical design engineering batch which is of 6 month so here we are teaching them mechanical design engineering static and rotating both in oil and gas refinery and petrochemical sector so our max uh, batch size is maximum 10 so you can contact us on the mention email id and the numbers here and uh, you can visit our company office also the address is mentioned here to discuss anything to if you have any query and for any consultation please subscribe to our youtube channel it will uh, give you the intimation or notification for newly updated video so thanks a lot once again